What's up, Mets fans? Emily Repper here with your New York Mets manager, Carlos Mendoza. Congratulations and welcome to Queens. Thank you so much. Thanks for having me. Uh, what a great day. This is a special day for me, for my family, and for the Mets organization and the Mets fan. You know, I, I, this is an honor and a privilege for me to be wearing this uniform and I can't wait to get going. Such an exciting day. Take me back though to another exciting day when you got the phone call about becoming the New York Mets yeah, manager. Yeah, uh, I was uh, I was on a Sunday uh, after a lot of traveling, flying across country and, uh, you know, uh, pretty tiring. Uh, but around 6.30, I was doing some uh, baseball drills with my uh, youngest uh, boy and I got the call from David and uh, I had to go in and sit down. <laughs> Just didn't know what to expect. You know, I knew I was deep in conversations with them, but not till he finally delivered the news that he was hoping that this that was going to be one of many conversations that he was looking forward to have with me. Uh, it meant the whole world to me. It was a dream come true. Uh, my wife started crying, kids started jumping and, and, and crying. And yeah, it was a pretty special day. So you have a deep baseball background from playing to managing in the minors to your major league experience as bench coach for our Crosstown rivals. Right. Um, how is all of that experience going to play into your first big league manager role? Yeah, uh, definitely uh, is going to play a huge role. You know, I'll look back not to my only playing careers, you know, but uh, career, but coaching career in the minor leagues with the, with the Yankees and managing and wearing so many different hats, you know, mm -hmm. in so many different positions and then eventually getting to, uh, to coach at the big league level, you know, for the team on the other side of town, yeah. you know, but uh, a lot that I learned in, uh, was connecting with people, building relationship so they can trust, you know, uh, dealing with a lot of different personalities, talking about from superstars to the player that just coming up from the minors. I have that ex yeah. experience and not to mention experiencing winnable where the fan base uh, is intense. You know, like they're going to let you know. <laughs> and, you know, uh, this is something that I went through it. I experienced, I've learned by being here in New York that fans care, mm -hmm. you know, and the Mets fan, they're very passionate. They want to win. They got high expectations. And, uh, you know, uh, but when the team's playing well, uh, the team is playing well, like City Field's going to be packed, mm -hmm. you know, and they're going to bring the energy and they're going to enjoy. And I can't wait for those moments. Yeah. Well, you kind of touched on it. You have that big market experience. You have that advantage already. You know, they say if you can make it here, you can make it anywhere. And you've been making it in New York. Um, what does it take to succeed in this city? Uh, well, managing those expectations, you know, there's high standards. and But being consistent, having a, a support system outside of the field too, like having that foundation and, you know, with your family, uh, uh, I think is important. But just know that uh, the people care and they want to win, you know, as much as we do. Uh, and uh, managing those expectations, I think, is important. And again, I'm really looking forward for uh, those challenges. And I see it as a huge opportunity here to, to, to accomplish big, th big things. You talked a lot about culture during your press conference earlier today. Um, what can you kind of elaborate on the culture that you hope to create here? Yeah, uh, and this is something that uh, they started, you know, a couple of years ago. You know, when Buck came in and they won a hundred, uh, hundred and one games, something like that. Went to the playoff. Last year was kind of like a difficult year for them, but I'm looking forward to continue to add to what's being created uh, for the past uh, few years. A lot of the players that. Uh, that were on, the, on, on, on those teams are still on our roster. They're great players. They're great people. And I'm a big believer that your culture is not your tradition. Mm -hmm. Your culture is driven by the people that you come in contact with each and every day, by the way you act, by the way you talk, the way you think. You have to fight for it. You have to value your culture. And it starts at the top. It starts, starts from ownership to the baseball operation people and David Stern myself as the manager, that eventually is going to trickle down to the coaching staff players and all the way to uh, player development. So uh, I'm, re I'm, I'm really looking forward to continue to add to that culture and, and build something special here. Yeah. You mentioned your excitement about this roster. 
Um, have you gotten a chance to talk with any of the players yet? Yes, I've talked to a lot of them, uh, and it's been great. You know, they're excited to have me on board. And like I said, I want them to get to know me as person, who's Carlos Mendoza, mm -hmm. as a human being, you know, uh, because that's where it starts. And um, it's been great. I reach out to a lot of them. I'm still waiting to hear from uh, a lot of them, too. They don't know the number, so I've been texting and uh -huh. just kind of intro myself. And I'm expecting to meet with all of them uh, in the near future. Carlos, you were born in Venezuela. Um, you managed or you coached for the for Venezuela in the World Baseball Classic, Venezuelan Winter League. Um, now to represent Venezuela as a manager in Major League Baseball, what does that mean to you? It means a lot. It means a, it's a dream come true. You know, uh, I am blessed uh, to have this uh, opportunity and using this platform. Uh, as a manager of the New York Mets in Major League Baseball. Uh, so people can see that dreams <laughs> do come true. That when you fight for your dreams, when you know, you're going to get knocked down mm -hmm. and you got to be able to get back up. Nothing in life is going to be easy. And it wasn't easy for me. You know? And I know it's not going to be easy. You know? It's a big challenge. But it means uh, the world to me that I'm the second one from Venezuela that get this great opportunity to be a big league manager and with this organization like the Mets for me is an honor and it's a privilege. And your parents were here today to see it come to fruition and it's your mom's birthday. Yes. What was it like to have them it was, here today? Uh, it was like kind of like a surprise because when I first got the news from David, uh, we didn't know when the press conference was and uh, you know when he told me that it was going to be November 14th, Tuesday, November 14th, I couldn't tell my mom. She was back in Venezuela. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, we knew she was going to come up. And I didn't tell, him to, tell her till she got to the States uh, a few days ago. Uh, and she started crying, obviously. Uh, uh, because, you know, we've been through a lot. We've been through a lot. And, uh, you know, she's been there the whole time. You know, it's 30 years of grinding, you mm -hmm. know, going through ups and downs. And my dad, my mom, my wife, my kids. Uh, They've always been there, and uh, you know they're a huge reason reason why I'm, I'm here. Yeah. So you've been in New York now for a couple of years. What does it mean personally to stay in New York to have your kids be able to stay in New York? And you were talking about having them on the field with you. Yes. What does that mean? It means a lot. You know, we've been here for six years now. Uh, we consider this home. You know, uh, when the uh, when David first reached out, they couldn't believe it. my kids was like that. You imagine if we get to stay in New York with you as the manager? And I was like, well, well let's see what happens. And then once I got that call, I mean, they were, you know, my wife, she loved uh, New York. My kids, like I said, we're, we're really, really excited, mm -hmm. you know, for this great opportunity to stay here in New York with the Mets. So the Mets have some very passionate fans. I know you've kind of already spoke to them about um, what you plan to do here and, this role, um, but what else can you say to New York Mets fans? That uh, we get it. We know how much they care and how much uh, <laughs> how much they know the game and, and they feel for the team. You know, we get that and just know that we got people here, a lot of people that care, that want to want to put a consistent team that is going to be able uh, allow us to compete for championships. And uh, this is an exciting time to be a Mets fan, and we can't wait to get going. Love that. We'll be excited to hear that. And I think you were talking about kind of you want the players to get to know you. And I think fans, too, they want to get to know you. They want to know who Carlos Mendoza is. Um, what else can you tell us about Carlos? What do you and your family like to do on a day off in New York City? We like to eat, you know. <laughs> we, we like to visit places. Uh, we like to explore. My favorite place to eat, Don Angie's, Italian place. Where is that? Uh, lower Manhattan. Uh, but we love, we love the food. We, I, I love in, uh, spending time with my kids on the field. They mm -hmm. play baseball. You know, we come early in the morning. We spend time in the cages, in, 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 in fielding grounders. Uh, so, yeah, uh, that's uh, pretty humble. You know, somebody that is going to be prepared. And, you know, the, the attention, the detail, the feel for the game. It's going to be important, and it, it, it will continue to be important for Carlos Mendoza. Well, Carlos, it was so nice to meet you. Congratulations. Nice to meet you. Thank you. Welcome to Queens. Thank you.